Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ready Room. I'm Captain Foley, and this is your Friday Captain's Log. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, today there's a few things I want to talk about, just touch on a few things. Uh, but first of all, you, I don't know if you can hear the motors. They're li really loud in this thing, but I wanted to have it lit up because it looks so good there. Um, and I just wanted to show it off. It looks like it's orbiting the planet and all that. But I've made some changes to the ready room since the tour. If so, if you guys watch the tour and uh, you want to see what's new, I'm just going to show you real quick. And then we'll get right into talking about what I want to talk about. All right, so let's just take a look at what's new in the ready room. I don't know if you guys can tell already, there's a few different changes, some minor things here. So we're just gonna take a look and uh, find out what's what. So the main changes are, of course, over here. Uh, I've added this, I picked up an extra one, got it from uh, my buddy Greg McFarland from Michigan, who was, you probably saw in the last unboxing. I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna focus on this while it's lit. Yeah, it's lit. Look at all the lights. Look at all the pretty lights. It looks so good. And now I'm going to unplug it. So it's not whining in our ears. Anyway, so um, I have one of these downstairs as well. They're behind me on most of my captains. Well, most of my Trek Yards episodes. If you look over my left shoulder, there's one of these. But I had to put one up here. I mean, it looks so good next to the big old Enterprise there. Um, those ships I've moved, they were in the center there, um, but now I've got the Deep Space Nine, K7, and the Ring Ship Enterprise. So I put these here, um, that of course being the Glow in the Dark USS Defiant from Eagle Moss. This is the, the Phase 2 Concept Enterprise. Also from Eagle Moss, of course, and of course the Mirror Universe Enterprise, again from Eagle Moss. So the, the model stayed in the same position, the plaque stayed in the same position, but the phaser and the communicator were over here initially, uh, but now they've moved over here. So those are just the subtle little changes I've made to the ready room I wanted to show you guys. So you can see what I'm talking about. But now let's just get into the uh, actual captain's log and discuss a few things. Okay, so one of the main things going on this weekend um, is Star Trek Las Vegas. Sadly, I'm here in my ready room. I'm not in Star Trek. I'm not in Star Trek Las Vegas. This makes me sad. I had planned on going this year. I had some money set aside for it. I was going to go ahead and get the plane tickets and the hotel and all that. But I decided to give myself a birthday present and instead fixed up the Camaro, um, which will be its own captain's log soon. Um, but so I'm not in Star Trek Las Vegas. The last time I was at Star Trek Las Vegas was 2013, before Trek Yards even existed. Uh, I went with my uh, then fiance Sylvia, um, and we went down for the for the convention, and we stayed for a week after the convention. Um, and we got actually married down in Vegas. We got married above the strip in a helicopter at night, which was really cool. Um, also got to drive a Lamborghini as part of my um, wedding gift from her and things like that. And those videos are on, on this channel. So if you look in Trek Yards Lamborghini, you'll see me driving the Aventador. Also did an Austin Martin. But anyway, so before Star Trek, or before Trek Yards was a thing, we were down and it was our first big Star Trek convention. It was fantastic. It was really awesome. We met some, a lot of the actors, got a lot of interviews, or not interviews, um, autographs, and uh, just had a really, really great time. Uh, they were very warm and friendly. Uh, Chase Masterson, who plays Lita, she, uh, when we told her we were getting married, she gave us a copy of her jazz CD. She signed it. Uh, she signed a print for us, and uh, that was her wedding gift to us. So a lot of great people involved in the Star Trek community, and I wish Trek Yards would have been a thing back then. Got to meet Michael and Denise Okuda down there, and quite a few other people. Uh, had a great time. Then Trek Yards became a thing, and I know if I go to Star Trek Vegas now, I will be recognized. I'll be able to talk to people that are fans of uh, Trek Yards. That's what I want to do. That sounds like so much fun. Um, 
but just haven't had the, haven't had the opportunity to go yet. Uh, we're maybe planning on going next year. Maybe Samuel and myself will go uh, and do a Trek Yards thing. Um, not 100% sure yet. We've kind of talked about that on our last live super chat. Um, so it's something we'd like to do for sure. And it's really kind of nerve wracking. Well, not nerve wracking. It's, it's frustrating in a way because I can't go on Facebook or Twitter without seeing my friends uh, that are down there because we know so many people in the Star Trek community now. Like Doug Drexler's down there, John Eaves, um, Thomas Maroney, uh, so many other people that are involved in Trek are down there and having a great time. My good friend J.P. Carden from Parlons Trek, one of the uh, Montreal um, Star Trek podcast guys, good friend of mine, he's going down there, uh, he is down there, and they're doing lives and th stuff, and it's kind of depressing. Uh, it doesn't help my depression much that I can't be there and having fun uh, with those people, but that being said, it's all right. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of the news that comes out about Discovery, about any new shows that they might be doing. I believe, my, my thought is they would have held something back uh, and not released everything at San Diego Comic-Con. I know San Diego Comic-Con is the big one where we release all the exclusives, but this is exclusively a Star Trek convention, so I'm sure there's going to be a few goodies that come up this weekend that uh, will be worth talking about. Uh, so Samuel and myself will, of course, cover those. Um, plus, Thomas Maroney, he is doing a panel, and this is, I'm so jealous about this. Um, Thomas Maroney's a great guy. We met him down in Ticonder or Ticonderoga, New York, and um, he works for Star Trek Online. We have a, an open invitation to go down and visit their studios and stuff, and we're going to do that at some point as well, do a mission Star Trek Online uh, Trek Yards mission thing. But he's doing a panel talking about Star Trek Online, their new expansion, uh, including all the Discovery stuff. And uh, he's on the panel with Mary Wiseman, who of course plays Sylvia Tilly. And I, you guys know I absolutely love Sylvia Tilly. I would just love to meet her, let alone be on a panel with her. So I'm very jealous of my friend Tom, Thomas Maroney. Thomas. Um, anyway, <laughs> that being said, um, I wish everybody, uh, I hope everybody has a good time. I hope everybody's safe. And uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. Um, I will still be checking my Twitter. I will still be checking my Facebook. Sure, I might be panged with, you know, jealousy and uh, depression over it, but I, I will still check it. Um, anyway, um, so, yeah, I don't know what to say else, else to say about that. Um, I'm just looking forward to seeing what comes out of it. Um, that being said, also, I'm not going to tr uh, Trek Conderoga this year. I've gone to the last two Trek Conderogas in Ticonderoga, New York, and uh, taken a bit of a break this year. Um, basically, well, there's a few reasons. Some of the, some which are financial because I did put so much money into the Camaro. Um, others are just because I need a break. I've looked back over the last two years, and in you know two years ago in June we did our Mission America tour for Trek Yards. Um, and that was a whirlwind, like two weeks of L.A., Denver, Comic-Con, going to Montreal, and then Ticonderoga. It was just a lot to take in. And looking back on those memories, I'm like, I don't know how I did it. Because this year, I've been so racked, racked with uh, stress and depression, especially this last week, um, that I haven't felt like doing anything. So I know once you're thrown into a situation, you need to deal with it the best you can. You, you, you get it done. I understand that. But... I'm glad I'm taking a, a year off this year. So no Trek Honduraga, no Star Trek Las Vegas, no other conventions. In October, we're doing the London Comic Con, as we always do. Uh, my good friend uh, Andrew Kitt is responsible for that, and he always gets us there every year. We do a panel. So, that being said, Samuel will probably be in Vancouver during that um, convention. So I'm not sure if the panel at London Comic Con is going to be Samuel and myself. I don't know if Samuel will be able to Skype in. We've also been asked to Skype into a panel at a convention in um, New York that same weekend. I think it's the last weekend in October. Um, so we might be doing two uh, panels on at different conventions that same weekend in October so stay tuned for that when more details come out we will definitely let you guys know um, if you're in the London area and want to see us you can or see me you can uh, come to London Comic Con um, 
but yeah, so that's where we stand with that. Just, I just want to talk about conventions and, and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of depressed, guys. I would love to be at Star Trek Las Vegas with all my all my friends and be talking to people who are Trek Yards fans and Star Trek fans and hanging out with Doug Drexler and you know all of the people that I've made such good friends with over the years. Um, but I'm I'm at home, and that's okay. Because next year, next year I'll go. That's the plan. So we'll see. So if you guys are in Las Vegas, or if you watch this after Las Vegas, um, hope you had a great time. Hope you're safe. Hope you had a lot of fun and, you know, didn't spend too much of your money. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, also, I just wanted to kind of briefly touch on Star Trek Discovery being on Star Trek Online. Uh, a lot of people have said that they're deleting Star Trek Online because of the Discovery content. And that, to me, is is really silly. silly. That's like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Star Trek Online is such a rich, diverse game. It covers everything Star Trek that's ever been, pretty much. Um, to negate all that by saying, oh, well, Discovery's in it. I don't want to give them my money. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I don't want to support Discovery. I'm deleting my game and not being able to play all the classic ships you love, all the, the new Star Trek Online ships you love, all the, you know, see all the appear appearances of classic characters like Worf and... You know, all those other guys that have participated and have done voice acting for the show and basically made an extension of the Star Trek we all know and love to delete that because of Discovery. I think is the silliest thing I've ever heard. I don't agree with it at all. Just ignore the Discovery content. Skip over it. Don't, don't buy the ships. Don't, you know, you see a Discovery ship coming, fly your ship the other way. I don't know what to say. It just, it seems silly to me. And I'm probably going to get people reaming me out in the comments, going, well, you know, I don't want to support anything Star Trek Discovery. Like, I get it, you don't like it, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I get it. But considering that Star Trek Online is free to play, and you don't have to spend any money on it, for you to delete your game and all your saved games and all your content is... It makes, makes me wonder about the, the mentality and the intelligence of a lot of people. So take that as you will, whether I'm bash you think I'm bashing people or not, I don't really care. It's just, it's, it's silly in my opinion. And uh, I think it warrants its own conversation at some point, uh, talking about the implications of that. Um, I'm just glad Star Trek's back on the air. Sure, it's not the Star Trek you might want. It's not, it's like the next iteration of Star Trek. Um, and looking back on it in 10, 15 years, you're going to be like, either love it or you hate it, probably still, but I think a lot of people will have changed their minds. Star Trek um, TNG was the exact same way. When it first came out, it's like, not my Star Trek, it doesn't have Kirk and Spock, blah blah blah, what are they gonna do? I remember all the hubbub about that. But there was no internet, there was no loud, you know, this forum for these loudmouth negative people to get on there and spew their hate. So it wasn't as pronounced as this. The same thing happened with Enterprise, just when the internet was in its infancy. Uh, anyway, going off on a tangent. I just wanted to do a quick Captain's Log today. I didn't really have a topic to discuss. I just wanted to mention Star Trek Las Vegas and hope that everybody's having a great time. Hope we see some really good stuff out of that. And if we do, any any news we're going to get out of that, Samuel and myself will cover on the tre on Trek Yards. Good or bad, we do cover both. And we're not going to ignore Discovery. And we're not Discovery lovers, per se. We're also not paid by CBS to spew Discovery love. People don't watch our videos, apparently, because I've been accused of being a Discovery hater and a Discovery lover. So I, I'd like people to make up their mind. The fact is, they don't know what to say because we lay it out, each episode, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we expose it to the world and generate conversations, and people don't like that. So either I'm a hater or I'm a lover. I can't win no matter what we do. So we're just going to keep doing what we do and report fairly and honestly on what we see, what we like and what we don't like. Might not always agree with your views, and that's fine. You don't always have to agree, but that's what we're going to do. So anyway, I'm going off on tangents here. I really am. I really want to thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to check out the Eagle Moss review later today. Uh, it's a good one, depending on your views. Um, I didn't think I'd like the ship, because I don't really like the ship, but 
I didn't think I liked the model, but I like the model. But I do like the ship. But I don't like the ship. But the model's really cool. But I kind of like the ship if it wasn't for the franchise that it says it's for. Long story. As I said, check out the review today at 12. Um, I'm going to try to do this every Friday. Do my captain's logs at 9 a.m. And then a discovery. Not a discovery. Don't shoot me. Um, a Eagle Moss review or a Captain Foley reviews at noon. Um, it's going to be Eagle Moss for a little while because I've got a lot of Eagle Moss ships to cover. Uh, I want to definitely look at those. Eagle Moss has been one of our biggest supporters now. Uh, so guys, if you can, click the link down below to go on over to Eagle Moss and uh, check them out. See what they got. Maybe make an order. If you do make an order, upon checkout, use the code TRUCKYARDS and it'll knock... Uh, some money off the uh, the bill for you there and help you guys out. It'll also help us out with you clicking the link and just using the code track yards. Uh, so if you can do that, save yourself some money, help us out as well, that'd be great. Also, in regards to helping us out, don't forget to check out our live super chats that we're going to be doing. Uh, Samuel and myself are going to be doing at least one a week, hopefully. Uh, I might be pop in once or twice a week to just talk about certain things. Um, but the Super Chats are a great way to help us out and get to interact with us. And really, we just sit down and hang out with you guys. It is fun. It's just fun to do. Or head on over to Patreon. Again, link is always in the description below. Patreon slash Trekyards. Help us on a monthly basis. If everybody donated $1 a month, $1 a month coming off your credit card, you're not even going to notice that. Um, you know, if you want up it to $5, whatever. You, it, the possibilities are endless. But the littlest bit, a dollar a month, means the world to a YouTuber somebody that tries to entertain you guys on a regular basis, and in Trekyard's case, almost on a daily basis, uh, that's a lot of work, it's a lot of time, a lot of dedication, and we ask for so little. Um, it's all free to watch, but if you guys can help us in some way, we really appreciate it. Or by just sharing the videos, that's also very, very welcome. Um, and don't forget, we're going to be doing t-shirt sales and stuff as well. Uh, we just ended our last campaign. Uh, the first run of the limited edition Trekyard shirts are out there. Uh, they're going to be sent out soon. I want to see pictures. If you ordered one, send me a picture with the shirt once you get it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing those. Which reminds me as well, on our live Super Chats, we usually have a giveaway of some kind. So we'll be giving away something for free. Um, we've given away Trek Yards sweatshirts and, you know, sample shirts and stuff that we've got. Uh, so we want to we wanna share the Trek Yards love with you guys and really give you guys something to tune in for. Something that's exciting and fun. So, anyways, sorry this point one, sorry this Captain's Log really didn't have a point, but I just wanted to talk to you guys and... Uh, Tell everybody that's at Star Trek Las Vegas that I love you guys. Wish I was there. Wish I could join you guys next year. Next year is the plan. We'll try for next year. We'll try to be there. At least me. I'll try to get there. I want to take Sylvia again. Celebrate our anniversary. Um, and but what better way to do it than in Vegas? So, anyway, hope to see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to watch. Well, no, hold on, just try that again. As always, don't forget to subscribe to both channels, uh, both Trek Yards and my personal Captain Foley channel. There's always great content over there as well. Non-Trek related stuff and bloopers maybe, alternate takes of things worth checking out. And also check out other videos as well. So until next time guys, I'm Captain Foley. See you later.